Today, I am at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo in Dulles, Virginia. Let's go check it out. All right, so I am at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo in Dulles, Virginia. It is a multi-day event, happens at different times every year, and I always love coming and checking out all of the things for sale. I am not doing any classes or crops or anything like that. Today is a shopping day, and I thought I would bring you all along with me because it's always fun to check out the new products. I will, of course, link companies down below, and I will link the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo as well so that you can see if there's one coming to your area. All right, we're going to walk in. I'm going to do a voiceover after the fact so that hopefully I don't disturb people around me. Um, let's go see what they have. The Stamp and Scrapbook Expo is a traveling show that um, runs several months throughout the year and travels all around the United States. I will definitely link them below so you can see if they come in your area. They've been coming to the Northern Virginia area for years and always at the Dulles Expo Center, which is this very large warehouse looking area that you see right here. The expo lasts three days. You can buy tickets for all three days. You can buy tickets for certain events. There are a lot of things going on as part of the expo besides just shopping. But today I'm definitely here to do some shopping. So I'm going to purchase my ticket. When you purchase a ticket, do not forget to go ahead and enter um, your name in for some of the door prizes. They have a beautiful selection of door prizes that they give away actually throughout the whole weekend. This was a special visual of what they were giving away on Saturday. I love all of these different packages that different companies put together. There are many different companies that participate with the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, and there's all kinds of activities surrounding the expo besides just shopping. There are classes, there are crops, there are little parties. It is a great get together of a lot of like-minded creative people and you can honestly spend your entire weekend here crafting and having a great time. And I know a lot of people love to come together. They even stay in local hotels and it is like the scrapbook event of the year. If you are a scrapbooker, a card maker, a journaler, a mixed media artist, then this might just be something that you want to check out to see if it is local to your area. If you are like me and coming just to shop, you're going to want to reserve several hours. It covers a large portion of this huge warehouse um, and you want to take your time. Each of the booths that you see has lots to go through, lots of little um, paper packages and supplies and tools and all kinds of little things to explore. And it can be really overwhelming, especially your first time at the event. So here's what I suggest. They have a show guide that you can actually download online in advance. Take a look at that before you even come into the Scrapbook Expo. Take a look at the coupons and deals that are available at certain times and almost map out a plan of some of the booths that you are wanting to check out. Scrappin' in the City is a booth that I have loved for several years, mostly because of the variety that they carry within their booths. Lots of different companies um, are represented and some fun products that I hadn't seen before. So apparently wax melts definitely making a comeback. This was a wax melt warmer, an electric one, which I thought was a super cool idea. Loved it. Loved all these different combinations of wax melts. And I was really, really tempted to pick some up. But here's the deal. I remember I had have wax melts at home so perhaps it's time that I play with those a little bit more once I see myself using it a little bit more then I can invest in um, some extra little goodies for my wax melt but there are even spellbinders has a whole wax melt kit I loved these little forms that is a genius idea to keep your melts within a certain shape just all kinds of the wax seals um, I think that is fabulous and what a cool embellishment to be able to add to all kinds of projects. I think that is a really fun idea and I can't wait to play with mine a little bit more. Many of you know that 49 and Market was my big discovery last year at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. I had not heard of that company before and discovered that I am in love with them, but we're going to check them out at another booth in a bit. 
Look at this. It's called a pokey tool, but how cute is that? All done up with beads and they had decorative glue stoppers as well. One of the reasons I love this booth, lots of variety and some really cool ideas um, for things that you may need in your craft room. Here is another brand that I had not seen before. A-A-L-L -L and Create. All and Create is I think what you would call that. It's a very graphic looking design to their packages. Look at all of these ephemera packages. I thought these were really intriguing and different. Anything that's different from your typical American crafts kind of look, I am definitely drawn to. I did think that this particular line was a little expensive. They had a bunch of paper ephemera. They had some rub-ons. They had stamps and metal dies. You can see I'm kind of investigating some of the different things that are available. Like I said, very graphic, kind of reminded me of the Dilutions brand. There were stencils available also. I ended up not picking up any of these supplies though, because like I said, I felt like it was a little bit of expensive. I do think that sometimes you're paying a little bit more for these smaller brands and a lot of times it is worth it because you want to support the smaller artists. But in this case, it was just a little bit too expensive for me today. Scrap That New Jersey was carrying all things simple stories, a ton of different collections, a ton of different albums. I loved this one. It's a great one to kind of take some time to explore because there were some fabulous deals. And if you love simple stories, this is the place to come check out. There were even some harder to find collections. So make sure to talk to the owner there. If you are looking for a specific collection or specific pieces from a certain collection, they may have it or may have a beat on where to find it. Printing was a trend that I saw last year at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, and it is back this year. Lots of different tools and gadgets that were printed with a 3D printer that you can use in your craft room to hold tools, to hold all the bits and bobs that we use as we're crafting and working with shaker cards, just different things like that. And I thought that these were such a good idea, and I love the bright colors that they come in as well. Heads up on the photo play booth. This is a really, really popular booth. So take your time, kind of wait in line. People kind of form their own line to work their way through the booth to see all of the different collections and packages. Four for 24 was fantastic, a fantastic deal. Plus there were bonuses for purchasing over a certain amount. This is a fabulous way to pick up some 12 by 12 paper in some very specific themes, but at an affordable price. Plus most of these photo play kits come with a set of cardstock stickers in the back. I This is one of my favorite booths to visit. See, they even have some that have a Disney feel to them. It's one of my favorite booths to visit. I definitely, spoiler alert, bought some things from the photo play booth. So make sure to stay tuned um, in the coming days for my swag haul, my huge craft supply haul from what I picked up here at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Next up is the Keep It Simple booth. And what I very much enjoyed about this booth was how they curated entire collections together. There were designs, including this one, Willy Wonka, Are You Kidding Me?, so adorable. And they had all of the different things you would need. You had the 12 by 12 paper. You had the six by eight paper, which I love that that option was there because not everyone needs the 12 by 12. 
you had paper ephemera, you had stamps, you had dyes, you had all of the different elements you need that would go with an entire collection. And some of the collections were seasonal, some of them were themed to more specific things. I loved the Willy Wonka collection. I thought that was adorable. There was also a Beauty and the Beast collection that was beyond cute. And I'm still kind of kicking myself that I did not pick up this collection. I just couldn't decide if I knew when I would use it. Some things I pick up just because I love them and they're beautiful and I feel like they will inspire me. A specific collection, a specific thing like this, I needed to know that I would use it and I couldn't wrap my head around when I might pull out these materials. So this one ended up staying, but I did grab some other gorgeous things. So definitely hold on um, for those. KNC Essentials was a fabulous booth that had lots of representation from smaller countries. And I love that they had this particular line that had Spanish words written in the paper designed by um, a Hispanic artist, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. Just lots of beautiful pieces. And what is so special about these events, the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, is that you're able to see these artists, these designers, you're able to see the materials in person when so many of the scrapbook stores that we all used to know and love have completely disappeared. And many of the bigger stores like Michael's and Hobby Lobby are only carrying their own lines of crafting supplies. So if you want to see some of the smaller artists or smaller companies, coming to an event like this is one of the best places to do so. Look at these adorable ornaments. This was one of the newer things that I saw. You could buy the pre-cut wood. This gave me lots of ideas on things I could do with my Glowforge, but you could buy all the pieces and put the crafting together yourself, which I thought I loved the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo includes other crafting besides just card making and stamping because they know that as creatives, we're going to want to experiment with different crafts throughout the year. Creative Creations is a must stop booth for me. They had fantastic deals on one of my favorite brands. I told you 49 and market. We're definitely going to pick some of that up, but they also had graphic 45, which is another very intriguing scrapbooking company that has pieces that look different, which I, like I said before, that's what I'm looking for. Something that's like out of the norm of the typical things that you pick up at the craft store. This booth was very, very crowded. They offered some early bird specials. So again, if you're going to the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, definitely take a look at the guide and the coupons to see what specials are offered at different times. Echo Park, another very, very popular booth because they have a ton of different collections very cute for a camping theme. They also had a collection that was like the entire 50 states, like collections and papers that represented each and every state, which I thought was a very cool um, look, especially if you're someone that likes to travel in RVs or is um, endeavoring to travel throughout the United States. I thought that was a really neat idea. Throughout the entire convention, there are make and takes. Many booths offer these make and takes. Some are free, some cost a small amount, anywhere from three, five, ten dollars, depending on what project you're working on. You simply go, you pay for the project if you are um, doing a paid one, and then you sit with one of the trained people at the booths that will take you through the make and take project. 
I have visited this booth, the Faith and Art Shop from Logos Bookstore. For many years, they have a wide variety of faith journaling, Bible journaling tools, including some excellent Bible journals. Again, another thing that it's nice to see in person instead of ordering online so you can see what the layout looks like, the color of the pages, things like that. They're starting to expand even more this year in this booth. I loved all of these beautiful vinyl stickers. I don't totally remember them having quite this variety before, so I feel like this is something that they are um, branching out with. They have a lot of the older Illustrated Faith products that Illustrated Faith carried um, through Dayspring, so if you're looking for any of those, this booth might be a great place to stop. As you are exploring the convention floor, you're just going to find inspiration everywhere. Many, many, many of the booths have tons of examples of different projects. You can see all of the beautiful cards that are on display in this particular booth that are just, they just jump off and inspire you. And I love these stickers. I think I mentioned this last year, but these outline stickers, I think this is such a fabulous idea for those of us that don't feel like art is our strong point, but we love playing with coloring. We love playing with mixed media. You can do some fun mixed media backgrounds, put one of these outline stickers over the top of it and create some pretty cool ephemera pieces or things to feature on your cards and journaling projects. My craft room is another one that I loved from last year as well, mostly because they seemingly had a little bit more of a mixed media feel in their booth. They offered a lot of these different pastes and creams that you could use on your card making projects, which I thought was a lot of fun. They had some different uh, watercolors available at this booth as well, including um, some beautiful Lindy's magical powders. I think that's what it's called. Those were really neat and they have some cool tools that I didn't see at the other booths. So fun things to try some different gilding flakes. Like I said, it's a huge variety of things. I like to pick and choose a few things to try each year. Then if you're going to come back to the stamp and scrapbook expo, you can always pick up more, um, in the following year. That brings me to probably my favorite mixed media booth in this whole setup, the art anthology booth. It is what kind of made me fall in love with the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo in the first place. I took a class with the creator of art anthology. I love the stencils that she designs. I think that they are so original. Um, love, love, love them. She has a ton of mixed media sprays and different sherbets. I think she calls them just different mixed media, um, tools and supplies that she creates herself. She's literally mixing these formulas up and I love the color um, array. She has just some great offerings here and she's also a fantastic teacher. So the make and take for our anthology was a bit more expensive, but I think definitely worth it if you have the time. Scrappy Boy Stamps was a super cute booth as well. They had all of these hand-drawn images of lots of the different stories that we recognize. You can see all the Disney princesses. They had a Gilmore Girls set, but I couldn't find the ephemera that went with the Gilmore Girls illustrations. They had a ton of different movies that you would recognize, some famous books, just all of these different themes, but with the same illustrated look to it. I cannot even begin to imagine how cute the cards would be. And I love that in the ephemera packets for this particular company, you get multiples of each one. So you don't have to feel like you're hoarding the individuals. Um, there are also small paper pads that go with each set of ephemera and they also had stamps and metal dies as well. So you can, again, buying the whole collection so that you can create within that whole collection is pretty awesome. Look at some of the cute, look at the coffee 
theme. This one is like Day of the Dead themed. There were just some fabulous ones. I just thought these were so adorable and so different. I felt like it definitely leaned towards card making just because all of the paper was sized down. The ephemera was sized down, really looked appropriate for cards. So if that is something you're into, look at the royal theme. Yes, please. Love it with the corgis and everything. Just some fun um, ideas and collections that you can use to change up your card making. Petticoat Parlor is another company with a booth and I have visited this one for years and years. I love all of these laser cut pieces um, with the paper embellishments. Again, a ton of different themes available and these are the perfect complement to add a lot of extra detail to a layout. I have used the Hogwarts ones in my planner, both for memory keeping and for planning purposes. I just love to see what fun new themes they come up with. There were definitely Barbie ones in this time and I thought that was such a fun idea. Like I said, there is a lot going on besides just shopping. Over here is the large play date area. This is a huge sectioned off area. You have to have an extra ticket in order to come into this area. There are tables set up. You can come by yourself. You can come with table mates and it gives you a chance to crop to work, to scrap, to do all of the things, and to have fun with other people that are similarly doing, um, playing with their supplies, having a good time. And like I said, a lot of people come in groups and spend time together and work on projects, do a little shopping, do a little creating, taking a few classes. You can make a whole weekend of the event, and I think that that would be a fabulous time, uh, fabulous time at some point. I would love to do the whole weekend. Here is the class area. You can see it's all sectioned off by curtains and I didn't want to disturb any of the classes that were going on but just, just wanted to give you a preview um the classes like I said a huge variety a lot of card making classes a lot of scrapbooking classes some that give you a preview of different events so you can check online see if this is coming to your area and book your classes in advance thanks for coming along with me to the stamp and scrapbook expo this year let me know down below what questions you have about visiting the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Let me know if you are going to go to one near you, what some of your favorite items are. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. If ever I see you at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, be sure to come up and say hi. I'd love to meet you in person. Thank you so much for joining me today. And like I said, stay tuned. I do have a haul video coming out. I definitely did a lot of shopping. This is a very heavy bag. So if you want to see what I purchased, stay tuned. Haul video coming soon. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.